<laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get another person All up right, here. Let's do it. All right. Oh, uh, Mike Gill. To Mike the Gill. Yeah. To the stage. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Uh, I told a story a couple weeks ago about uh, when I stole a candy bar from like a gas station uh, when I was like uh, first grade or something, and I just cried my eyes out. Like I was so upset about it for days. And uh, I want to tell you about the kids that I was like hanging out with when I did that. Uh, so I was a bad kid, but like bad kids never run solo. Uh, <laughs> like, there's always just a group of them. Uh, and they take turns kind of being the leader. And so the two kids that I hung out with the most uh, were Patrick and Michael McGrogan. Uh, two brothers, uh, and it was like the, the younger one was a year younger than me, and the older one was a year older than me. And so I was like right in the middle, I was like the third brother, I was the third McGrogan. And uh, like they, it was just, it was like you, I would, you know, I would say, let's go jump on the back of the UPS truck and like ride it around the neighborhood when he's not looking and just have a fun old time. <laughs> and then we'd do it and the younger one would fall off and just like fuck himself up really bad. And like, they'd both get in trouble while like my parents never found out, so like it was all good. And then they would be so mad at me that they would then like trick me into doing something bad or like just get me to do it. And it was just years of that. And, uh, <laughs> Like one of the last times we were like, where like the friendship was kind of like coming to an end and you know everything was kind of coming to terms and uh, so like I, I I'm trying to remember how old I must have been in like fifth grade and uh, I want to say and uh, South Park was scripture to us like it was the greatest thing ever made and it was just perfect and. Uh, we, they, we also discovered the movie Lethal Weapon on VHS that year, uh, and, and it's delightful cold open. Uh, I can elaborate a tad. It's basically Lethal Weapon starts out with a naked woman doing coke and then like jumping off a, a building and killing herself. And then it's just like, Lethal Weapon! Like, <laughs> Like, they figured out, like, that you could jerk off to that. Like, it was just enough time where you could jerk off. <laughs> and it was. It was perfect. Uh, and so, like, they taught me about this. Like, we discovered this thing. And, uh, <laughs> and, the, and like, and I was just like, cool, I'll try that. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to not be cool. Uh, I did, like, leave the weapon, but I was just saw the edited version. I didn't know about this whole cold open situation. <laughs> So they tell they basically through childish logic they convince me that like if I don't do it with them like at the same time like in the same room all together then it's gay. <laughs> and like however they phrase it it made sense to me so. Like, we started doing that, and it just, like, it just got real weird real quick for me. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to do this, and uh, I think I'm backing out, guys. I'm going to go have a Yoohoo or something. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, it, it, like, they just demeaned me so bad that, like, I, you know, I just, like, got really pissed off and, and left, and, like, they just, like, followed me out to the front of their house, and like still just like yelling and making fun of me and stuff and, and like I'm walking down the street going home and uh, and they're like they're still yelling and I just stop and like I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna yell something and I'm gonna you know I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna win this with my wits <laughs> not my fists <laughs> and I turn to say something and I'm just like I, I kind of get out a syllable but I realize I'm so choked up with emotion that I'm like pretty close to crying again <laughs> I'm like, all right, words are out, words are out. Go back to fists. Uh, I just see like a big, long branch that had fallen out of a tree uh, just sitting there. So I picked it up and, uh, and, they're, and they're staring at me and I'm just staring at them. And we're probably, I mean, we're probably like 50 yards away. We're not very close to each other at all. And, uh, and I just walk up to their neighbor's house and jam it into their neighbor's tailpipe like as hard as I can and like completely just fucking smash that thing all the way in there uh, and then just like look at him like what's up uh, and 
I just like walked down the street and went home. Uh, and uh, that was probably the last time we kind of hung out. 